the single discount equal to three consecutive discounts of 10%, 12% and 15%. So basically, there are three consecutive discounts being given, right? First, you will get 10% discount, then you will get 12% discount and you will get 15% discount post that. So he says, instead of giving three consecutive discounts of 10, 12, 15 percentage, what should be a single discount? What should be the single equivalent to that? Now, you simply cannot add 10 plus 12 plus 15 and say 37 is the answer. Nonsense. 37 cannot be the answer, right? Because percentages cannot be added. You cannot say 10% plus 12% percent is 22%. Percent because this 10% percent was on some other value and 12% percent is on a different value, right? So percentages cannot be added unless the uh, both unless both the percentages are being calculated on the same value right here you know that all three percentages would be coming on different values so you cannot simply add them what do you do then go by effective percentage right you know the effective percentage formula right effective percentage is a plus b plus a b by 100 so when a and b two percentages are given and you need to find out the effective of those two you have to go for a plus b plus a b by 100 the only thing that you have to keep in mind here is we are talking about discounts remember while you are substituting the values a and b you have to ensure that you use with use proper signs there is it a positive value or a negative value now that depends on the type of percentage here we are talking about discount percentage now discount means what reduction in the value right discount is nothing but reduction in the value so you actually have to consider 10 12 and 15 in the formula as minus 10 minus 12 minus 15 are you able to follow i mean i'm sure some of you would know a or some of you will actually feel that I know a better formula, which is A plus B minus AB by 100, right? Generally in books, it is given that the shortcut to calculate, you know, overall discount is A plus B minus AB by 100 or X plus Y minus XY by 100, where you can directly substitute X and Y as 10 and 12 or A and B as 10 and 12, if you're using minus AB by 100. But if you go through the percentages video, I had told you not to remember any special formula. Just remember one formula, A plus B plus AB by 100. Whenever you're talking about reduction, use with a negative sign. Whenever you're talking about increment, use with a positive sign. So yeah, you don't have to depend on any other shortcut formula or special formula there, right? Nothing wrong if you use A plus B minus AB by 100, there you have to use positive values. So if any of you have done that, no, no need to panic. You can use that also, but I'll do it using this method, which you have covered in the video. So A plus B minus AB, A plus B plus AB by 100, where A is minus 10 and B is minus 12, right? First we'll apply effective on these two, we'll get the result with the result and the 15 again we'll apply effective percentage right why are we taking negative signs because discount is reduction so find out the first one right effective of let's say effective of 10 and 12 right how do you get this minus 10 minus 12 plus minus 10 into minus 12 by 100 how much will this be minus 10 and minus 12 is minus 22 this minus into minus will become plus Right, minus into minus is plus. So plus 120 by 100. Plus 120 by 100 is how much? Plus 1.2. So minus 22 plus 1.2. How much is that? Minus 22 plus 1.2. Minus 22 plus 1.2. Basically 22 minus 1.2. So this comes out to be 20.8 percent. How much? Minus 20.8 percent. Now what does this minus sign indicate? That the effective of these two is giving a negative value, which means overall the discount will be 20.8 percentage or overall change will be minus 20 percentage. Now with this minus 20.8 and the left out value of uh, 15, apply effective, right? Now apply effective on these two values, okay? So let's do that effective of minus 20.8 or, you know, minus or plus doesn't matter there. Effective of 20.8 minus 15. So what do you do? Then here also I'll put minus, otherwise some of you will get confused. Why didn't you use it? So minus 20.8 minus 15 plus minus 20.8 into minus 15 upon 100. Now this involves a little bit of calculation which you'll have to do. Okay. So minus into minus is plus. So forget about negative sign. This is three times and this is 20 times, right? Five into three, five into 20. Now 20.8 into three. How much is 20.8 into three? 20.8 into 3 will be 62.4, right? 20 into 3 is 60. 0.8 into 3 is 2.4. 62.4. 62.4 by 20. Now, 62.4 by 20. How much will that be? See, 62.4 by 10 is 6.24. By 2 will be 3.12. So, overall, this comes out to be 3.12, right? So, I'll say this is minus 20.8 minus 15 is minus uh, 35.8 plus 3.12. Right now, minus 35 plus 3 is minus 32. 
0.8 minus 1.2 is 0.68. So 32.68. So overall discount is going to be 32.68 per state, which is option C.